Hey Chiefs Nation, today we're diving into a story that showcases the incredible bond between our Chiefs players. It's easy to focus on the games, the plays, and the wins, but there's so much more happening behind the scenes. This is a story about loyalty, friendship, and supporting someone through a tough time. You all know Clyde Edwards Hilaire, our powerhouse running back. But this season, Clyde stepped back to deal with something deeply personal, PTSD stemming from a traumatic event in 2018. This is where Travis Kels, our superstar tight end, stepped up in a way only true friends can. Before we dive into the details, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. We've got tons of Chiefs stories, insights, and updates coming your way. Let's reach that 1,000 subscriber goal together. In 2018, Clyde experienced a terrifying attempted robbery that tragically turned deadly. While ruled self-defense, the trauma remained. He pushed through, becoming a star at LSU and joining the Chiefs, but the past didn't simply fade. This year, the PTSD resurfaced, forcing him onto the reserve-slash-non-football injury list for the first six games. Clyde prioritized his mental health a powerful reminder that even the toughest athletes are human. He's been hospitalized multiple times battling PTSD, yet he continues fighting. Now, let's talk about Travis Kels. When Clyde opened up about his struggles, Kels didn't just offer encouraging words, he became a lifeline. Clyde considers Travis a big brother, a constant presence who provided a safe space during one of the darkest periods of his life. Their bond transcends the game. It's a connection that keeps a person going when life gets overwhelming. Travis even gave Clyde the nickname GBC, Good Brother Clyde. And his social media response to Clyde sharing his story speaks volumes. GBC, my good brother for life. One of the strongest men I know. This experience highlights something crucial. The importance of support systems in professional sports. We often hear about physical injuries, but mental health is equally vital. Clyde's story and the support from Kels and the Chiefs reminds us that players are people facing challenges beyond the field. The pressure, expectations, and relentless training are immense, adding to personal battles often unseen by the public. Clyde's back. He returned to the Chiefs on October 15 focused and determined. He's playing with a renewed purpose, a powerful display of resilience. With the playoffs approaching, he's aiming for his third Super Bowl win. Clyde's journey is a testament to the resilience, loyalty, and strength of the Chiefs family. As fans, we're not just here for the touchdowns, we're here to support our players through everything. Travis Kelsey's actions serve as a powerful call to action. Supporting the Chiefs means understanding that there are people facing struggles, just like us. That's what makes Chiefs' kingdom special. We don't just cheer, we stand together. If you've been moved by this story, subscribe and let's grow this channel. Let's keep the support strong for our Chiefs family. Go Chiefs!